<laughs> Traditional Cuban with a twist. Hello? Are you listening to me? Tony, the food has to be perfect. I mean, Miami Vice sounds good. No! Miami Spice. Teresa's turning 15, not 50. Benita finally finished the final alterations, and then I have an open house, and then I'm going to the bakery. Where's the dress shop? It's in Coconut Grove. OK, why don't I meet you there? Hey. Everybody's very excited to see you. But Omami says you're going to have to wear a name tag because nobody's going to recognize you. <laughs> There's the guilt. <laughs> hey, did you hear that Lola's having her quince on the same weekend as Teresa? Yeah, uh, Matt mentioned they were changing the date. You also told me that Sara has a restaurant in South Beach. Yes, it's called Munch. I hear it's really good. You should check it out. Yeah, um, I don't know about that. I mean, wouldn't that be a little awkward? Absolutely. <laughs> but it depends if you guys want to try to be friends or not. Since when do you like shopping? <laughs> it's not about shopping, OK? Uh -huh. I want to spend time with my niece, that's all. OK, but we're leaving, like, right now. OK, then go to the bakery. I'll take a shower, and then you'll pop his car. I'll probably be sure. OK. That'll help. All right. That would be as crazy as you trying to steal Teresa's thunder for a second time, Dolores. Green is in honor of Lola's Irish heritage. But green with envy isn't a good color on anyone, is it? <gasps> is that what you think? Let's go. I just got an email from Savory. The reporter wants to interview you tomorrow for the piece. <laughs> okay, all right. They had such a huge response on their page, and they loved your backstory so much. They want to make the feature the cover. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, what do you mean, backstory? <laughs> yes, it's between you and Sarah. They're going to decide based on the photo shoot and obviously whoever's food is best. Photo shoot? Yes, tomorrow after the interview, the girls will be there. <laughs> you and Teresa are going to look so cute together. <laughs> Tony, we have to get this cover for her. Yeah. Tell me, how is Dolores doing? Good, she's good. You should call her. Does she want me to? Definitely. Really? Because she seems very upset. Well, for starters, she said you still have an RSVP. Ay, Dios mío. I completely forgot. Thank you for reminding me. Is there something else going on between you two? I mean, if there is, it's, it's a mystery to me. No. This is your night. This is for our family. Uh -huh. Can we tell them to come to the rehearsal tonight? Mommy, I think I actually like the dolls here and the flowers over there. Come on in, ladies. OK, so after the DJ announces the parents and the padrinos, and then you two for your grand entrance, you'll make your speeches while you light the candles. We'll do the traditions, and then the main course before the dance number. So if you girls want, take the courts out and keep practicing while we finish the run through. Uh, we actually like to practice part of our speech. Oh, yes, of course. Let's do it. I'm sorry, too, but please tell me what I did. You barely talked to me. I've just been so busy with work and with Teresa's school and now this party, but you're right. I need to be better. Wait, is there something else? You really don't know. You knew how much we loved your house. And you took a stranger's bid over ours. I explained to you what happened. They paid cash and they offered over asking, so we took it. That loyalty and friendship are more important to you than money. The Lord is. I'm gonna make this up to you. I'm gonna find you a great house and I'm gonna make the best deal. We're family. And now, our second piece. I'm gonna go do something with this hair, and I'm gonna go to the gym. Because you see this body right here? This is all your fault. Because all you do is feed me platanitos, pancakes, de todo. Why don't you decide? Do you want me to be skinny, or do you want me to be fat? Do you want me to be single, or do you want me to be married? Just decide! You know what? This is not motivation. This is humiliation. And I get that from her every day for free. So you know what? Here's your 20. 40, 60, 80, extra 20 for dealing with her. You're fired! Here you go, nice. Hey, Ernesto. I didn't realize you were calling from right outside her house. <laughs> Keep the intensity up while I'm gone. What happened? Enough said, we have to call for help. I already called the ambulance, they're on their way. We should get his pants up before the EMTs get here or else you're gonna have to answer a lot of questions. I knew you guys would make a great team. You have no need to talk to him that way, okay? 
And I want you guys to know that I find men with facial hair very attractive. Yeah. Well, he did beat the hell out of my lawyer last night, so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do now. Okay, you guys need to slow down and stand in line because this is not the first time that he cheats on people. <laughs> this time he's really, really messed with my brain. Like I, ha I have major trust issues. And Carol's mom was having one of these big Brits at dinner parties. I don't know Spanish. Y entonces esa mujer se dio cuenta que era un ratón. And Pinky got really nervous and he ran outside and the whole party ran after him. But not Carol's mother's boss's husband, nor Carol's mom, because she was crying. Not because of the double sauces or No words. What? No words. Oh my god. Mm.